So is condo parking worth buying? Sa ngayon, ang pinaka-okay daw na investment ay lupa, gold, and parking spaces. Yes, you heard me right, parking spaces. And what these three have in common is eventually they will all be scarce for the fact that they are limited. So but going back to fundamentals in economics, if the supplies become scarce, their prices increase. Hindi ko napapabain to. I'll go straight to the point. Obviously, my answer is, yes, it's worth buying a condo parking space, whether you're an investor or an end user. So, bakit nga ba limited ang condo parking spaces? So, pagbili ka sa isang developer, they have a ratio for unit parking slot. So, most developers do not have a one-to-one -one ratio for unit and parking slot. So, ibig sabihin, the slots are limited at yung priority for parking are those who bought to BR or 3 BR units, yung mas malaking unit, and less for those who bought studio or 1 BR units. Because it's not something that you can just buy anytime dahil first come first serve basis ang pagbili ng parking. And if you really don't need it, it can be a good investment on its own. The question is, how? So you can either rent it out or resell it for profit without the additional expenses of improving or renovating compared to investing in a residential property. So for example, bumili ka ng parking space worth 1.2 million and pinarentahan mo ito ng 6,000 a month. So compared to buying a small house worth 1.2 million, which you can also rent out for the same amount without the need to maintain it or improve it. In fact, there are developers who are very strict in limiting the number of parking slots to be sold because there are wise investors who would buy, who would actually hoard three or more parking spaces during the pre-selling period. They will have passive income because practically, wala ka naman gagawin, you want to renovate, you just buy it, then rent it out. Ganon kasimple. And also, if you want to sell your parking space, you can demand for a higher price because of the fact that every condo building has limited parking. And some people are desperate to buy one. When you decide to buy or sell your parking unit, it comes with a separate title. So you have an option to sell it separately. So did you know that mas madaling ibenta ang condo pag merong parking ito? And the value appreciation with condo parking is insane. So in prime locations like BGC, Makati, Mandaluyong, so developers would start at around 800,000 and after 3 years, 1.2 million na. So that's 20% increase per year. And lalo na ngayon in the first 2 months of 2023, yung vehicle sales was up by 30 plus percent or 60,000 units were sold in just 2 months. So more and more people will be needing parking spaces. So are there any instances that you don't need to get a parking space. So probably when you buy a condo in a location that is so prime na katabi mo na lang yung train station or your work is just across your building, then you're okay without getting a parking space. And also if the developer has plenty of parking spaces for guests. So a lot of developers now are turning their extra spaces into pay parking for condo visitors. And also, since your parking space comes with a separate title, like any other property, you have to settle its amelior or real property taxes and association dues, which are usually based on cost per square meter. Better get that parking while on pre-selling. And you can incorporate it with the price of your unit. So some developers offer very light scheme kung gusto mo silang itandem. And if you think you're not going to need it anytime soon, then why not just make money out of it? So thank you guys again for watching. I'm Chris and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!